Hey, what is up there, guys? This is Cobb, and welcome to the Outer Worlds. God damn it, another blind playthrough. Okay, I know this game's been out for a little while, uh, but yeah, I really don't know a goddamn thing about it besides it being a kind of RPG -y, uh space opera. Um, so let's just get started, really. And I, I mean, I haven't really got much else to say for a, for an intro for this one because I don't really know a goddamn thing, so let's just hop right into it and see what's going down. Cinematic time. When prosperity awaits you in the stars, come to Halcyon, the only colony Halcyon. on the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only 10 short years. years, you will Love become it. the Okay, I love it. I love the vibes already. Tongue in cheek. Okay. The hell? <laughs> all right, all right. What the fuck is going on, dude? Okay. I don't want to skip anything, man. Hopefully the subtitles are readable and my face isn't in the way as well. That would really suck. Fugitive wanted by Hal Halcyon. Halcyon, was it? Has boarded our damn ship, huh? Oh, and there's the cryo chambers. Am I one of those guys? Of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh, what the fuck? What's so easy to save us? We've just been floating around uselessly for all this time? Oh, dude, it's time to design our character. All right, man. This is one of the greatest parts of RPG games in general. Spending points, dude. Can we just put some respect on the ability to spend attribute points? We got skills coming up, aptitude, our appearance, all that good stuff. I won't take too long for you guys. I'll just kind of skip ahead and then explain my choices on each page. I think that that's probably the best way to do it. Okay, man. Maybe this is terrible, maybe this is terrible, but I'm gonna try to be a charming bastard um, in this video game. So. High amounts of charm give us high amounts of companion ability refresh rates and like faction bonuses and stuff like that. So it looks like you're gonna be able to assemble parties in this game, which would be kind of cool, right? Uh, perception, this is gonna help us to specialize in longer range guns, long guns, handguns, that kind of stuff. That's what I'm all about, man. I don't want any of this melee action, man. Screw all of that. We'll go with some perception and a little bit of intelligence because I don't know, man, it's just, it just doesn't feel good to be on average intelligence, you know, you want to be a little smarter, so... I don't know if these choices make any sense, man, if you played this game before and you're like, Oh my god, bleh, this build sucks, well, it's done now, so there's nothing we can do about it, is there? Okay, so we have two points available to spend here in skills, uh, where we can spec into... Oh, we just straight up spec into melee, range, defense, dialogue. Okay, man, I'm looking at dialogue and I'm liking that. Okay, let's put one in. Oh, wow. I'll let you do the talking. There you go, man. We get plus 10 in every uh, thingamadoodle when you put a point in this. That's pretty sweet. Oh, oh, there's a leadership one as well, though. That seems pretty sick, Yenny. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys can see Yennefer down here, but she's with us again for the beginning of another series. You know what I'm saying? She was here for the start of Frostpunk as well. There she is. Okay, um, I'm, uh, I was tempted to go for ranged, but you know what, I might just go with leadership. Just because it seems really cool to me. Oh, look at all this info you get, dude. So when you reach 20, uh, inspiration skill points, you get what, companion, ab oh, companion abilities get unlocked, you can order companions to do special attacks, uh, 40 companions game, okay, man. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So maybe I should just go with this then. I should just go with ranged. Ah, let's go with ranged. 
Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Okay, unlock TTD location hit effects. Who knows what that means, but, you know, it's a thing, so... Let's go with that, man. Range and dialogue. We're smooth talk. We're McCree, basically. Aptitude. Um... What is all of this about? Bureaucrat, cashier, food additive, tester, janitor... Is this, like, our job before we arrived on a uh, Halcyon? That's a terrible name, man. They should, they... First critique of the game, they should have picked a better planet name. That doesn't roll off the tongue very nicely. Sometimes quality control means sampling a delicious boast smoothie, but most of the time it means swallowing toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise. Now that your stomach lining has the consistency of of a broken in saddle, it's easy to explore your culinary limits. Food effect duration plus three percent. Man, these little flavor texts, dude. I think I'm gonna go with just one that this gives plus plus persuasion, so. Cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory. Non <laughs> Gives us plus one persuasion, so let's just go with that, I guess. For a living, huh? Okay, man. Let's go ahead and design our character. And I'm definitely going to skip ahead on this part because, yeah, I might be here for a little while trying to make me in the video game. All right, man. All right. I think that that's pretty much space brack. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and... Oh god, I've got to decide the name. Ah, let's just be standard, you know what I'm saying. Let's go, dude. Enter. Next. Summary page. Yes, all good. All very nice. Look at all that persuasion action we got going for us, dude. That's all kinds of persuasion action. Okay, let's continue, man. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Okay. Why me, though? Why me? Please power down your engines and prepare to be Not likely, bootlickers. Oh, what the hell? Look here, this guy's also being pursued by some brigands. Okay, the game could the game would have been pretty short if we didn't make it out there, so that's good. Status: structural integrity down twenty five percent. Our levels down. Skip <sighs> drive. Shit. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. So why did this guy save us? I guess we're about to find out. My camera's probably blocking his face right now. Ah, oh. there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Okay. Oh, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done okay. myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. So I was just random? Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Oh my god, so that's that? Am I about to get ejected? Jesus Christ. Okay, man. So it was just totally random that we were picked out of that hibernation ship, dude. All right, well, fair enough, fair enough. Count our blessings and all that. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? It ah, is. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. 
His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Is this guy just a good Samaritan? He just happens to be a brigand on the run from other brigands? Oh, well, I guess we're here. Why is this Hawthorne bastard at then? I'm getting flashbacks to Bioshock Infinite right now. In a little pod. Ah, you've landed good. Okay. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. <laughs> oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Yeti! I don't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not oh. sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Oh, dude. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Dude, this place looks awesome, man. I know the game's telling me to go over here, but... I'm just gonna wander around for a little bit. And see what we got going on. Man, these graphics are gorgeous, dude. It's got some Solus Project action going. Only, like, way more intense, you know? What the... Okay. There's, like, feathers growing out of that goddamn tree! Alright, man. Let's run around a wee bit. Oh, okay, there's not, there's not too much to explore behind the scenes. You never know, man. We could have found, like, a portion or something. Portions exist in this game. Okay. Actually, let me just real quick... Yeah, turn off tutorials, because that's going to get pretty annoying, I think. I think it's all pretty self-explanatory, you know? And I've already played the first five minutes of the game. Okay, let's go! Cool, cool, cool. Good little mini triceratops looking guy. Sweet. Alright, I'm not expecting too much, too many secrets and whatever to be in the Staten areas, but I guess it's just a little tutorial area, so. But yeah, this place looks fucking so awesome, dude. I wonder if those are man made or just natural. What the hell is that? What the hell is that thing, dude? Okay. Let's not ask too many questions, man. Let's try to make some progress in this first episode. I feel like so far we've just been watching a lot of cinematics. Which is fine, you know. Oh, what the hell is this? An injectable healing enhancer. Adrenal healing heals 25% health over 2 seconds. Oh, up in the top left. Okay, so we had 10, we now have 11. Those are like med kits. Alright, cool. Can I loot this? I can't. Can I loot this? I can't. Okay. Okay, we're supposed to sneak past these mobs here. I don't actually know if it's doable. Yeah. Uh. Oh well, I guess it saw me. Lul. Uh. Do they like lose me? I'm in the grass again, right? Yeah, I'm in the grass. Right? I'm totally in the grass right now. Okay, fuck it. I'm just, I'm just gonna believe that they're not coming to kill me. Okay, man. Oh. Oh. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh, damn. Okay, dude. Ugh. Okay. This is usually when the tutorial tells you, use your heal, man, you ding, so... Spend one of those. Okay, but that does heal pretty quickly. All right. Hey, you, come here. I really hope the volume's good enough for you guys. By the way, I'm just, I'm just having faith that if they're not, I can fix it in editing. Try the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. 
Oh, law that stings. Okay. Space is what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. Okay. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Okay. What's this about marauders, huh? Yeah, let's patch him up first, man. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Okay, you're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. <laughs> Uh, what were you doing out here? Said he was on patrol, but... ...legally grounded ship. Okay. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, man, it only costs one to persuade him in these one. Well, I guess it's just the first guy, isn't it? So I've got a better idea. Give me a gun, I'll go get help. So I'm grounded this ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Okay. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All space okay. choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. A goddamn saber. All right, man. Maybe the melee weapons are like way cooler than I might have imagined. Uh, we'll give everything a try, man. Um, okay, can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about the hope? The hope? Is that some sort of fancy uh, new drug? He doesn't are know about our ship then. Leo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Okay, fair enough. He also mentioned uh, it's like the rule of the board or something like that. Like to not land your ship illegally or some shit. So what, I like the board, like the governance of, uh, of this place? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay, fair enough. I'm off. Oh! Oh! Okay, man, we got a blaster. Can I, like, cycle to my, uh, to the melee weapon, dude? How do I check my inventory and stuff? Can I, like, equip this? Ooh. Oh, dude! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't want to waste any ammo. We got what? Oh, actually, we got like 110 bullets, but... Okay, man. This is cool. So DPS, 110 DPS, huh? Compared to 73 DPS of the saber. I mean, I guess you can use the melee weapons then to save a bit of ammo, but maybe at least right now the melee weapons just kind of suck. Um, It's a shame you can't have both of them out at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like pistol in the goddamn right hand, saber in the left. Blocking bullets and shit. Ooh. Maybe you can do that later on. I'm just like too much of a noob right now. Anyways. Yeah. Fuck it. We're good to go. Oh, do I have to blast my way through these? It seems like a royal waste of, you know. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? Sorry, Phineas. Okay. I don't want to shoot this little guy, this little sprat. <laughs> okay, man. Let's forge on ahead. Keep the owl pistol out. Oh, God. Oh, okay, that's me unlocking my slow down time ability, right? Maybe you should leave the tutorials on because I haven't played past this point yet. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Because I don't want to, like, miss a tutorial for something that I really should know. Um, I, but I know there are, like, slow, t uh, slow down time effects in this game, so I'm assuming that's what that tutorial pop-up would have been if I had them enabled. <gasps> okay. 
Okay, I could just shoot the barrels, but at the same time... Shoot that guy first, and then the barrel, maybe? Oh, he sees me! Woo! Woo, shit! Fucking wrecked! I think! Okay, man, loot. Light ammo, all that good stuff. Okay, so I didn't use my slow down time thing, but I panicked, okay? What the hell is this all about? It requires blue things to get in. All these blue things? Oh, okay, so I have two or four, I see. Mag picks, huh? We got some apples and stuff. What do I need that for, man? Apples and shit? What the hell do these do, man? Just heal? Gives a bunch of natural health regen lasting for two minutes. I see, man. Oh, okay, but I can't equip them yet because I don't have... Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's making sense to me, I think. Um, gathered up all of this crap. Man, this guy had all kinds of stuff. What is this? Fish sticks? Because it says oldest food that I picked up. Yeah, it is. All right, man. All right, all right, all right. And yeah, there's nothing else. Okay. Come on, I can't climb up on top of the rocks and stuff. Okay, I can't, I can't. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. It's a little hard to tell when you're actually in the grass. You know what I mean? Okay, man, we made it down, we made it down. Okay, he totally can't see me, can he? I don't think he can. Okay, how many were they? I swear I just saw like three of these dudes down here, but now we only see the one. <gasps> okay, I don't see anybody else. Huh? Come on then, dickhead. Let's slow down time and see what happens. Yeah, it's not that good. Uh. Oh shit! What the fuck? Where did you come from, dude? Oh my god, I just turned him into a little puddle. Can I heal? Okay, dude. Look at that! We're actually just the best. Nah, uh, you're probably not supposed to have been using like so many heals right now, but it's whatever, man. We're landing, you know, we're landing. We dicking around a bit. <laughs> That's the basic excuse for sucking, right? Okay, there's another guy down here. Another sentry saber. Okay. Oh my god, dude! It's just a limb! I was like, oh, it's a piece of food on the floor, you know? But no, man, you can really mess people up! He doesn't have a head! Okay. Where's his head gone, man? This is pretty... This is pretty savage. I did not expect any of this. I didn't expect, like, dismemberment in this game, dude. Okay. Is anybody down here that... We just didn't hear anything? Okay. Oh, man, the ADS feels nice, actually. It's a little bit slow, but maybe that improves once you've got, like, more skill points or something. What do we got going on down here, man? I see one dick down there. See one dick there. Oh. Oh, Private Kimball and Lieutenant Mercer. Companions? Companions! Let's just go chat to him. Blazes? Where'd you come from? Alright. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that. That might have been me. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Kim. Just landing violation of the goal, so I had to find one of your teammates hold up in a cave. Already dealt with a few of these marauders. Alright. Uh, mm, do I grass this guy up for being... S yeah, screw it. Really? How is he? Okay. Still a moron. I hope you're a little brighter. 
Uh, no, let's go down. done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll oh, see him back on, to man. Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense, I just, okay. you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Oh, yeah. Kip, okay, the Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge, hmm? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the order of that ship is. Uh, la 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 la. Alright, man, persuade, dude. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Let's go, that's what I'm talking about, man. Oh my god, okay, they're just- they're literally just going. Let's help them out, man. Okay, I'm just missing everything, but... Uh, jump shot, man. Look at that goddamn shot, dude! Look at the goddamn skill! I'm sorry, Yenny, am I being too loud? But, Jesus Christ, woman! What's she doing? <laughs> oh god! She tried to surrender and I just committed a war crime, dude! Oh, dude. Maybe that wasn't good. Oh god, should I not have did that, man? Oh, she has an assault rifle, though. Ooh! Okay, man, it's totally worth it now. Um, let me just check this out. She doesn't- oh yeah, okay, there it is. 180 DPS! Okay, man, I regret nothing. Let's drag it into there. Um, where's like my ammo? Oh, okay, this is the ammo. Okay. How do I know what ammo this thing uses, man? Damage magazine. Oh, it takes heavy bullets. I don't have any, man. Okay, let's take it out of my rotation for now, then. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that was a bit of a raged exchange. <laughs> Did I, like, accidentally shoot? Um, Lieutenant Mesa or her little compadre. Oh. Did I, did I kill this guy? He has some heavy ammo. Take everything. Okay, let's just loot everything, man, real quick. I don't know what I just picked up there, but... Light ammo, saber, la la la. There was more. There was another guy who, like, died up this way, right? Yeah, there we go, man. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Think that should be all of them, kind of? Yeah, I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that, I think that's all. That's enough, anyway. Unless I missed this guy. Which I did. Okay, that was the last one, then. I think. And look at how huge and gorgeous and just delicious this world is to look at, man. Oh, we're gonna make a fine mess of it in no time flat. Okay. Oh, hold. Let's go up inside, man. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay. I think I'll be the judge of that. Huh. Huh. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this shit. The unreliable dude. Oh, how do I climb a ladder, man? Okay. I know I shouldn't be going this way yet, man, but curio uh, curiosity. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even notice that up at the top, man. Skill and talent points available. Ten points available, huh? Ooh, man, what do we put them into? Maybe I should go a little bit into, um... Like, our dialogue and stuff is all grand. Maybe I should put a little bit into one-handed melee, because right now we're just absolutely abysmal. How do I do it? Oh! Oh, okay. Oh my god, man, we got a lot of points to spend. Let me think about this a little bit more. Oh, we've already spent them, I can't undo that. Crap. Okay, so we spent a bunch in melee just to get it up to like 10 on each one, just because... 
I don't know, I feel like it's something that you shouldn't completely neglect. I put a bunch into ranged as well, and then I put a couple into leadership so we can get inspiration up to 20 to unlock the uh, novice bonus. Don't know if that's good, but that's just life, isn't it? Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I need to hit apply. There we go. Packs. What is all of this customization, dude? Okay, let me just take another second. Alright, man. This is good for the high maintenance pack, I guess. Minus 25% uh, weapon and armor durability loss. I'm not really sure which of these are even good right now, so I guess we just go for this. Because this just seems like a catch all net positive pack to have, you know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah. Let's do that, man. Okay, so we did all of the things. Okay, actually, before I go any further in the ship, I'm gonna have to wrap this episode here, dude. Oh my god, fall damage is real! Okay, so yeah, we're basically just inside the ship. Um, strong start! Chaos! Kinda suck at the combat, but that's okay, man. Teething issues, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave this episode here just so that doesn't run on for too long for a starting episode. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I shall see all you guys in the next one, and do have an incredible day.